morning everybody. We're making our way up into the Toyabe Mountains this morning. We're headed to the abandoned Park Canyon Nevada National Mill. Pretty remote out here. It looks like the road is starting to get a little bit rough out here. Normally we don't drive alone out here when the roads are this rough, but it's not supposed to be too bad according to what the trail guide said. So we'll have to see. We found some ruins here that we're just going to stop and take a look at. Wow. There's some more ruins out there that you can see. These buildings are pretty amazing. I think these date back to around 1867 when a tin stamp mill was relocated from Yankee Blade to Park Canyon. It only lasted two years. Look at all the stacked stone walls. All of these stone walls, they are awesome. Just amazing to stand here and look at these. Pretty, pretty cool. In 1885, a revival was attempted. The furnace from the citizens mill in Austin was moved in. This also was pretty much a failure. The mill and the furnace were eventually sold for $500 in 1891. One final attempt was made to mine here between 1937 and 1941 when the giant claim was mined. It produced only $12,000 in ore. At that time, Park Canyon was abandoned for good. In this area here, you can see those are some of the remains uh, from the mines. The Maybe like the ore chutes. They say that these stone ruins are some of the most impressive in the whole state of Nevada. I would have to agree. Out of all the ruins and ghost towns that we've been to in Nevada, these are pretty spectacular. We spent half the afternoon exploring the area. One other note, the canyons in this range are a known habitat for mountain lions. They estimate there to be about 2,000 roaming these mountains. So just keep that in mind when you're there. If you're interested in visiting Park Canyon, I'll put the directions below. We're headed back to our home base camp now in Tonopah, so we will catch up with you guys later.